In AutoCAD architecture, we may use stairs as interference conditions for slabs. Let's review how this works. I have a drawing with some exterior and interior walls, a stair, and a slab that would be at the second floor, which is 15 feet above the first floor. Switching to a northeast isometric view, then a visual style of conceptual, we'll see that we're not going to have the headroom clearance necessary so we need to use the stair as a subtractive interference condition for the slab. Picking the slab, on the Slab tab Modify panel, Interference drop-down, I'll pick Add. At the Select Objects to Add prompt, I'll pick my stairway, and then press Enter. At the Enter Shrink Wrap Effect option, I'll pick Subtractive, then press the Escape key. Picking the stair, in the Properties palette, Interference section is the headroom clearance. It's currently set to 7 feet. So the stair cuts a hole through the slab only where it does not have 7 foot 0 inch headroom height clearance. 